This weather is getting so chilly and I'm in the mood for a cozy comfort food soup. I'm Becky from thecookierookie.com and today I'm showing you how to make our very favorite creamy chicken tortilla soup. This soup is loaded with everything amazing from corn to fire roasted tomatoes to onions, cilantro, and more. It is amazing and a family favorite. It's super simple because nobody has time to slave away in the kitchen, especially during the holidays. To get started, we're just going to saute onions. We're gonna use a little bit of canola oil. So we're just letting this onion saute for about two to three minutes or until it's translucent and fragrant. You should be able to tell. At that point, we're gonna add in some jalapeno and then some garlic. You wanna get that strong base of flavors going so that our soup is infused with everything amazing. Add in the jalapeno. If you like things spicy, you can leave some of the seeds in. If you don't, you can leave the jalapeno out altogether. You just want these to soften down with the onion. You don't have to saute them for very long, just a couple minutes. Okay, once these are softened and you can smell that great aroma, we're gonna add the garlic. Just a couple minutes more on the garlic, maybe just one minute. You want things to be fragrant, but you don't wanna burn the garlic. Let it get nice and mixed in with the onion and jalapeno. And you can see how everything is softening and becoming a little bit translucent. It's looking really good. Once you feel like your onion and your jalapeno and garlic are nice and sauteed, we're gonna add almost all the rest of our ingredients. Lots of chicken broth. We're also gonna add in some corn. These are crushed tortilla chips. You could also use store-bought tortilla strips, but this just adds a little bit of thickness to the soup, a little bit of texture. I love it for this type of soup. Fire roasted tomatoes, and we're actually gonna use two cans because I love this stuff. It adds so much flavor, so much spice. Black beans because we're healthy. Just kidding. <laughs> Not too bad for you, the soup. And our spices. We have chili powder, smoked paprika, cumin, and red pepper flakes. And then a pinch of salt and pepper. And you can always add some now and then taste it later and add more to taste, however your family likes things. We happen to like a lot of salt, so I'll use a low sodium chicken broth and then salt it to taste just like we like it. Give that a nice stir. And this is the point if you were going to use uncooked chicken that you would put your chicken breast right in the liquid. It could stew and cook right into the soup. For about 20 minutes, you would simmer it. At that point, you take the chicken out, shred it with forks, and then put it back in. We're gonna use rotisserie chicken breast that was already cooked from the store that we just took off the bone and shredded ourselves. So we can skip that step, but that's when you would do it. Once you've stirred, we can add a little bit of fresh cilantro, and this is also optional. I hear those rumors about people who hate cilantro and think it tastes like soap, which is, I think, such a shame. But if you love cilantro, it is delicious in this soup. Give it a nice stir, and we're gonna let it cook down for about 20 minutes so it's nice and thick and full of flavor before we add our cooked chicken, our cream, and our lime juice. Once it's cooked down enough where you think it's thick enough how your family likes it, we're gonna go ahead and add the chicken some lime juice to just brighten the flavors and bring everything together, and some heavy cream. This is what differentiates this chicken tortilla soup from other chicken tortilla soups, the creamy base. I think it adds just a little bit of coziness and is so delicious. So just give that a nice stir. We're gonna let everything heat through and then we're ready to serve. Once everything is hot and you think it's ready to go, this is when I always taste to see if we need more seasoning. Oh my gosh, it's delicious, but we need just a little bit more salt. And I think we're ready for an amazing cozy dinner. I hope your family loves this cozy soup as much as ours does. Hop over to thecookierookie.com for the full recipe.